I was actually a builder and a carpenter and I did have a little pottery uh, up until about 10, 15 years ago and then it started going broke. I got divorced and I found myself the plus year old doing a bit of building and sketching charcoal portraits at a market at weekends. It's just fun really. And then the idea just popped into my head. It had to be possible so I, I just um, bought some canvases one day and went home and just tried it. And yeah, uh, in the kitchen totally naked. Uh, I was just holding a canvas like this in one hand and my penis in the other and just, you know, going around like that. And, and I thought, well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Well, I call it Picassoism. Um, well, there are other things like Cubism and um, Impressionism, Expressionism, um, Picassoism. A lot of people call it penis art. Well, I always think that has visions of me painting just penises, so I prefer to call it something different. I can actually use other parts of my body. I do use my my uh, testicles, and my butt cheeks, and also I slide. I do the edges of the painting. I slide it between my legs and um, up my butt crack. I uh, call it the credit card swipe. A little bit further down the farm, I got I got about 40 acres here, mainly trees and 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 weeds. Yeah, and then you asked me what was the strangest request I've ever had. Well, people just wanting to paint a picture of their penis. I've been invited by couples to be their entertainment for the weekend. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> a girl about, I suppose she must have been just 18, and her mum and dad just sat her down and said, "You're going to get your portrait painted," and she didn't know what I did. And then I just ripped all my clothes off, and she just ran. She ran out of that room so fast. Now you ask me how old I am. Well, <laughs> I'm actually 65. Yes, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Probably all that, all that sex I get. You know, like. <laughs> I live on the top of a mountain overlooking um, a city called Surface Paradise. Is that good? Yes. Uh, uh, first of all, we went all the way around Australia with my first wife and two kids. Um, they were about two and four, I think, at the time. Um, they're now 42 and, and 40. So, <laughs> uh, and we settled in the Gold Coast because there was a lot of work here. It was the most, it still is the most expanding place in Australia, I think. You know. And you asked me what sort of sculpture I like, well, actually art, you asked me about art, but I, I really like sculpture best, I've always done a lot of wood carving. I like the male body, I don't know why. I like the old masters, probably best, uh, Donatello, Benini, and Rodin, okay. People that you've probably never heard of, I think they're great, you know, like cartoonists and things like that, I like. <laughs> Not many wrinkles, uh, yep, but uh, could be genetic. I don't actually exercise a lot. I eat the right things, don't smoke, don't drink a lot. You ask if there's any art pieces I've created yet, or haven't created yet, which I'd like to. Well, yeah, there's heaps actually, but um, time. You know, I've got to eat, so I've got to keep on getting my dick out and painting away. Which I really like it anyhow, so it doesn't matter. It's not, <laughs> not really worked to me. The biggest art piece I've got, I guess, is my house. You know, I mess around with that all the time. And it leaks like a sieve, the rain. We had a lot of rubbish rain that day, you know, I think we had. So it's, um, it, it's pretty wet at the moment, but everything's growing. Dams are full. Grass is green. All right through the world. A couple of dragonflies. And my family, my family thinks, they just put well, up with it. We're a bit of a dysfunctional family, I guess. Um, my sister lives like half a mile up the road with my nephews and um, my two boys live with me. My daughter, who's very normal, um, <laughs> she's got a good job, she's married, two kids, and two cars and a dog. Um, they live on, I mean, their house on the beach there. And, they're doing very, very well, and I can't. I don't know, don't know where I went wrong. Really. <laughs> my, my ambitions and hopes for the future. Well, well, I just don't like the in inequality of, in the world. I, I'd like it to be more. I hate greedy people. You only can spend so much money, can't you? And I think half the world is poor, and half the world is rich at the moment. So. Nice if it was a bit more equal.